welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. My name is Jay Flo, and today we're going to show you a new product that we are carrying in our stores called Glass Stain. And it's similar to stained glass, but it's actually a paint. And this is also um, what the kids use when they do little sun catchers. Same concept, same type of product. So to get started, we will take the black leading is what we're going to start off with when we do the lines on one of these. Oh, but first let me tell you about what you'll put it on. We have these clear acetate sheets and I don't know if that's showing up on camera very well, but it's very thin. You could even cut it out if you wanted to, but I took a piece of paper that was the same size as my acetate sheet and then what I'll do is take the black leading and go over each of my lines. I'm going to first squeeze out a little bit, okay, so it doesn't splatter at all. And I will go over all of these lines here. I have one that I have prepared. So I'm going to set this aside. It's going to take about an hour for that to dry. But I have this one that I've already prepared to show you what the next step is. So the black leading is currently on there. It's dry. It's dried for about an hour and a half. Uh, actually, this one's been a day or so, so it's really dry. And I will now take my glass stain. And when you first open these two, there's going to be a piece of paper on here to protect it from coming out, you'll need to peel that off. Okay. Then you simply just use the top here to push the color around. Now currently, I've used this one several times. I'm squeezing and nothing is coming out. So I'm going to take a tea pen or maybe a toothpick, but some sort of pointy sharp object to clear out that valve. It just gets stuck a little bit, but that's fine. And then, okay, so it squirted out a little bit too much, which that is too much, so it's gonna lead into the other color. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> um, I'll show you how you can correct that in just a moment. But this is how you push the color around. You just simply squeeze out a little bit and then swirl it around. You don't want to shake the bottle because it'll create bubbles. You want nice, smooth paint. And it's self-leveling, so it just kind of levels out. Okay, now if you can see that little bubble right there, I'm going to poke it and try and get it out. There we go. So that came out. Now this right here, where it's gone over the edge, you can one, wait till it's dry. Again, it takes about an hour, hour and a half, and then layer the paint over it. Or if you go ahead and put your next color on, I'll show you what happens. Cleaned out that valve. The colors are gonna bleed together kind of merge together a little bit. Now, when two colors match, you can't blend them really together to get another color. Um, let's say, for example, red and yellow don't always make an orange when you do this. They don't blend very well together. Actually, that's a nice color, though. <laughs> um, but this is a technique that you could do. You can take your stylist or pen or needle and you could do like little burst and pull the color through. That's one way. So you can fill the entire piece up. This one feels like there's a little bit clogged in there. Just clear that out again and squeeze. 
So you can continue doing this for all the color, each one different color. And let me show you some of these finished samples that we have here. So this is a palm tree. And then the turtle has this beautiful feathering in here inside where we put several colors next to each other and then drug them out with the pen. You can also do it on glass bases. And I do recommend that you do a base that is flat. Flat bases work much better than rounded because the color will tend to go around. So you wanna do it on flat surfaces. So here's another one that we've done. So we hope you enjoy this fun project and new stained glass product.